Hi everyone, in this video we are going to quickly find the secant of 5 pi over 4 without using any pre-made unit circle, without using a calculator, without using a pre-made table, but just from scratch right from here. Um, for more details about the unit circle if you are struggling, there's a video at the end of the vi this video that's going to pop up, how to make a unit circle, and I do go into more detail when we get to those angles a little few examples ahead that are larger than 2 pi. I will go into more detail about certain things, but every single video I'm going to kind of try to give you slightly different details so they could all be short and all provide you with a little bit slightly different information, different approaches, different angles on how to look at it. No pun intended, actually. So here we have secant of 5 pi over 4. 5 pi over 4 is going to be somewhere in the middle of a quadrant. All of the increments of pi over 4 are. They're all the 45 degree reference angle or the pi over 4 radian reference angle. 5 pi over 4 is 1 pi over 4 more than 4 pi over 4. I hope everyone knows where they can find 4 pi over 4. 4 pi over 4 is another way of saying pi. That is right over here. Standard position, initial side is there. And our straight angle of pi, or 180 degrees, is going to be right there at the negative x-axis, and I'm going to use the common denominator. Now, if I wanted to count four pieces of 4 pi over 4, then I can break this whole top half into four even parts. One, two, three, four. Imagine they're all the same. If you were to do these little flower petals, you would double your denominator, and that's how many flower petals you should have, and they should be evenly distributed. So I would have eight petals all the way around. That's also why this spot is known as 8 pi over 4, because that is 2 pi, a full loop around, right? So if this is 4 pi over 4, and I'm looking for 5 pi over 4, then I am really interested in this angle right over here. So. Next thing we need to do, now that we know where that angle is, is we want to envision the reference triangle, which is always going to connect it up to the x-axis or down, depending which way we're going, but to the closest x-axis. I'm going to blow up this triangle for just a smidge. This is the triangle you're looking at. This is your reference angle pi over four. And next. Quickest way to do it, I'm gonna to think to myself, secant is the reciprocal of, as you see right over there, it's one over cosine, it's reciprocal of cosine. Cosine can be values such as um, ratios, one, zero, one half, root two over two, root three over two, or one when it comes to the unit circle. It could also be negative, but I'm just gonna start with this. These are possible answers for, for sine and for cosine. Secant and cosecant being their reciprocals have a few possibilities as well. So really you have like a one in five shot, I guess like if you consider the negatives, you have a one in nine shot in guessing out of the clear blue sky an answer for a sine or cosine unit circle question. Similarly, same idea for secant and cosecant, just their reciprocals. Reciprocal of zero is undefined, of one half is two. Root two over two is root two. Two root three over three is the reciprocal of radical three over two, and the reciprocal of one is one. Positives and negatives don't change when you find a reciprocal. Now, what is the cosine over here, right in the middle of quadrant three? over and down, I like to call these medium and medium. If you know what I mean by medium, you're not in need of going to watch the unit circle ordered pair video. If you don't know what I mean by medium, you might wanna go watch that. Left medium, down medium. That means I went left root two over two for the X value, and I went down root two over two for the Y coordinate, X, Y, x, y. Hopefully we all know x is corresponding to cosine, y is corresponding to sine. That means they're both the same in this case, but that means cosine is negative root 2 over 2, which means that secant will be the reciprocal. That means, final answer, that the secant, this is an ugly arrow, sorry, the secant of 5 pi over 4 equals do, 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 negative root two. So if you were able to get that on your own and you were watching it in double speed and you fast forwarded to the end because you just needed to know the answer, 
I am super proud of you. If you didn't quite get it before or made a little mistake or weren't that confident, but now you're like, oh yeah, yeah, I got this. I'm also super proud of you. Give the video a thumbs up if you're in a good position. If you're not in a very good position when it comes to figuring out the Secant 5 Pi over 4, go ahead, give the video a thumbs down. Leave your own explanation if you think it would be helpful in the comment section below. Click through for the next example, and I hope you're feeling at least a little bit more confident, a little bit more intelligent after watching this video. Adios.